What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a, another Pokemon video. Today we're doing a PSA Returns. Um, and yeah, this is a pretty sizable submission. This is one of those ones that's filled with, yes, great, great grades, some uh, big disappointments, and then some like uh, question marks to myself. Uh, 15 months ago, why did you submit this card? So let's get right into it. Our first card is a Hidden Fates Articuno, and we did get the gem in 10. Uh, sorry about the glare. I'll see if I can't uh, do something to adjust for that. All right, so it's not perfect, but let's just roll. Okay, next we got another Hidden Fates. This time it's the Dark Rye. Hidden Fates we did pretty good. Another PSA 10. Uh, once I'll get all these cards in, I'll see where we're at as far as the master set goes, or at least the shiny vault. Um, imagine we're pretty close. You know, maybe there's a like baby shiny here or there that we're missing, but I'll probably just pick those up secondhand. Uh, it's not really worth it to go through PSA anymore, and I'm pretty sure the prices are pretty cheap. Tepu Coco. Uh, last video, last uh, PSA return video, we had the Lele, so I think maybe we're good. I had plenty of Bulus, uh, so I'm confident I'll have a 10 of those eventually. All right, next we have the Champion's Pad Charizard. So I think I mentioned this before. Um, this is probably a card that everyone can have in their collection. PSA 10, there are so many copies of these. In 10, they are going for super cheap. I think it's down to like $40 or something. So, you know, and and... I mean, I doubt the price can ever go up. Uh, maybe it can continue to go down, but like, I don't know. It's kind of like a freebie. Not a freebie, but um, as cheap as a, or we'd have a mint nine. Um, or even if, if you're, you know, if it's not within your budget to get a 10, a nine, probably like 20 bucks or something. And, you know, it's not bad. Not a bad looking card, too. So I feel like this should definitely be an easy pickup for everyone. Uh, along that Champion's Path route, so um, yeah, I don't think Champion's Path is a great target for, you know, anything really, but I do like the Gardevoir from that set, although so, the mouth looks kind of weird, and we did get the Gem Mint 10, so pretty happy with that. And I felt obligated to grade the big turtle, hello, Dreadnought is not my favorite turtle in the uh, Pokemon game. This one only got to 8, uh, but if I had to pick one of the Champion's Path cards again, 8, I'd probably go with this one. And staying along Champion's Path, we did submit a Charizard V Max. It's interesting to see kind of like how this guy versus the Shiny V are comparing. I think this guy's a little higher right now. This one unfortunately did only get the 9. Let's take a look at the back. Um, maybe there's something up the top, but it's very slight. Oh, I don't see anything. Uh, maybe that's all it took, and I feel like you can only see that, like, hint of whitening from certain angles. Uh, so a little disappointed with this 9. No worries, because we have a 10 right here. So, uh, Champion's Path, we, we got all the important cards, I suppose. Uh, and not too eager to kind of complete that set. All right, here we go to some vintage cards, and we can see here there's some whitening here in the corner, so definitely not a mint card by any means. Let's see how we did to Blaine's Charizard, PSA 6. So pretty disappointed. I probably would have been, you know, optimistically hoping for a 7. Don't think anything 8 above is way out of reach. Um, but hey, happy to add any Blaine's Charizards to our collection. This is the one with the error. See, there's a fighting energy there. Uh, that is the more common. All right, this we have a real vintage one. Uh, significantly worn. I think I picked this up for maybe two, two fifty on Troll and Toad like a few years back. And it is a Venusaur first edition, only uh, excellent five. Um, but uh, I hesitate to say this, but whatever. Uh, so at this point, I do have all three of the base starters in first edition. Uh, in low grades <laughs> so definitely not not like not 10 not 9 nothing not, nothing near that um, but hey it's good to have these in in the collection and that one I graded or uh, most of them I graded myself here we have another nice vintage card um, you know another you know very sought after card but obviously this is quite a bit of wear it is the Neo Genesis Lugia once again, we pull the excellent five, which I think is warranted. Uh, but yeah, such a classic art right there. 
All right, moving into some good old base set. This one is just the Near Mint Mint 8, which I am fine with. Um, yeah, I, I've, I'm a huge uh, base, base set fan. I feel like that was the first set I completed uh, growing up, and that was such an accomplishment. So, you know, at this point, I think I have multiple sets in, in PSA. Uh, full 9 set, definitely not a 10, but maybe at least one full 8 set. And I, I don't know, for me, like, I can't have enough base <laughs> unlimited cards, even if it's unlimited. Another base set card, we have a Raichu. This one only has the excellent to mint six, so um, definitely don't, not too eager to complete a six set, but hey, if I can, might as well do it. And um, yeah, I mean, when you go down to six, and there's so many on, like copies of the unlimited base set, um, if that's something you're interested in, just, you know, seven or lower, I think you'll be surprised at how cheap the cards are. All right, moving up one set, we got a Jungle First Edition Flareon. Very nice. Let's take a look at the back because this was a bit of a disappointing grade, but we can see significant, like, uh, not a little bit of whitening at the top. So the Near Mint 7 is, does make sense. But yeah, a little disappointing. Get done with that first stack. Let's move this up here. All right. Maybe, maybe you just saw it, but we got along the evolutions. We got the Jolteon. Uh, the next one is not very important, unfortunately. Uh, this one, once again, the seven. Um, I think I was pretty close to completing a nine first edition. Uh, I'm actually not sure what I'm short, uh, so I don't think I got any nines, which is a little disappointing. But maybe we'll have to settle for a seven set instead. Let's take a look at this card. Definitely a little beat up. It is the Scyther. First edition. This one's all the way down to a six. So you know, a lot of these low low grades, um, you know, it's a little disappointing. And it's kind of like, oh, was it worth it to submit these cards versus just have them in a binder? Um, but you know, considering that I got these at the ten dollar price point, as far as the grading fee goes, definitely uh, worthwhile. Almost to a degree, no matter what grade you get. Oh, we do have the Vaporeon. Um, I think I was. Thinking about different submission. All right, unfortunately, this one got to get down to a six. So we got all three of the evolutions at first edition. Uh, this one coming in at the six. Sticking with jungle. Got another six on the Venomoth. And all right, we do have a first edition nine. <laughs> of course, it's it's the Vile Bloom. <laughs> it's probably not the worst one. Um, I, yeah, there's probably like a worse one to get the nine, but uh, yeah. Not not the the most important one, although I did have this card uh, growing up as a kid, and I always thought, oh, you know what, this has potential. This could one shot a a Charizard with if you get three heads, <laughs> quite the tall order. But hey, it's possible. Going into fossil, so like as you can see, we, we I love to just get uh, getting my vintage cards graded. Uh, this one's only a seven, but this I, this was another card I had growing up, and it felt like this guy could be so annoying. Sometimes you just miss, and then sometimes, and then you're constantly putting your opponent to sleep. Does super low damage, but that would just be so annoying. Okay, next we got the Kaboot Tops coming in at a seven as well. Classic fossil card. Uh, so one of the better pulls from fossil, we got the Moltres, and pretty happy with this grade. Near mint to mint eight, so. Uh, legendary bird uh, fossil was the first set to have all three I feel like this card looks pretty good um, significant dot up there beyond that I feel like centering is pretty good too so while I'm happy with the eight I feel like this is you know could be worthy of a nine all right moving along into the rockets dark magneton PSA 8 for any swirl lovers, we got a nice swirl over here. Very cool card. I love this this uh, silhouette thing. All right, now we're moving on to some high end cards, but they are pretty damaged. <laughs> uh, definitely edging all all around, but it is a shining Celebi from Neo Destiny. Unfortunately, we got the excellent five. But just having, I'm not even sure if I have all the shinies at this point. But going for that, you know, unlimited shiny sets definitely worth getting graded. Uh, I 
in this submission, they did upcharge me a bunch of cards. I imagine this got upcharged at least to twenty dollars. All right, so let's see. Actually, this one in some areas, edging the edge wear is more significant. Although we got a better grade, this one we have the Shining Mewtwo. Um, for considering it's a Shining and a Mewtwo, I feel like the art is a little underwhelming. Uh, but hey, Shining Mewtwo, definitely happy to add another one to the collection. This one we got a Near Mint to Mint 8. Again, I feel like right off the bat, it feels like the edge wear is more significant than the Celebi. However, this one got a significantly better grade. Uh, so this is still a Shiny, but it's in a different variety. It is a Gold Star. Mew, oh, this is such a cool card. Like, I feel like it's very unique in Delta species, water type, uh, just thumbs up all around. Fortunately, it is the PSA 5, which is obviously a little disappointed, but hey, I'm sure that's warranted. Back doesn't look terrible. When it, once it gets towards a 5, I imagine there's like a bend or slight dent somewhere. Um, yeah, so, you know, in this order, uh, I did get hit with a bunch of upcharges, uh, but most of them are warranted. Like I think, technically, this this submission and everything's supposed to be under. I think it's one ninety nine. Uh, we have a all right. So almost all my orders, I submit a bunch of Charizards, base sets, and super <laughs> well loved card. Uh, we got a PSA five. Seven is not bad. I'll take sevens all day. Then we got a six. All right, let's take a look at this one. This one, oh, okay, yep. This is a uh, this is a pretty beat up card. Four makes sense. We got another six. Oh, I thought I had like a at least an eight in this. I must be thinking of a different submission. Didn't get a nine though, so only have a few nines. Okay, another card that's one day I hope to get a ten. Although it's becoming less and less likely. This one you can see uh, plenty of white dots all around. PSA 7 is warranted for this beautiful card, Burning Shadows Charizard. Uh, yeah, this is kind of, this was the card when I got back into the hobby. And, uh, you know, obviously I reused the art for the Shining Charizard and Hidden Fates, my favorite set, a modern set. Case is a little dirty. Uh, this is another Charizard, but once again, significant, or edge wear. No, no, I wouldn't say significant. Uh, this one did get the Near Mint to Mint 8, perfectly warranted. At this point, I think I have at least a couple 9s. That 10 looks like it <laughs> might not be, might not, uh, might just be, not meant to be. At this point, like, the the PSA 10 is quite expensive. Alright, so let's keep going. Uh, now, at this point, we're fully on to modern. We have the Rainbow Reshizard. Um, this is one card I picked up a bunch of copies of. Actually, the, it actually has gone down in value a little bit. They feel like this Charizard... Um, did not get as much love from the market as I kind of anticipated. Uh, this one did get the 9, and it's been a struggle to get that 10. However, we eventually did it. So, can check this one off, and, uh, yeah, stop, <laughs> stop grading these. Got the 10 in the collection. Alright, so let's see. Okay, Japanese card. Um, I'll we'll just show it. So... The, this was Ultra Shiny GX in Japan. Obviously, it's the hidden Japanese Hidden Fate set. Um, this is definitely the set that I bought the most sealed product for a Japanese set. I just thought this thing was so cool. Once it once it aired, there weren't actually too many people doing openings. Uh, then I just when I saw like an opening of this in the person actually traveled to Japan to do it, um, I was hooked. And at the time, you could pick up boxes pretty cheap trip from Japan. And I actually think I picked up a bunch of Charizards too. And uh, it, I think Hidden Fates was a surprise because it took, I think it was over a year before Hidden Fates came out. This one we got, just got a Mint 9, but that's okay. All right, now we're going into whew, the real heavy hitters. So I think I, I did not do this out of order, but probably should have showed these in different order. We're going to the, uh, call them premium Japanese promos. Even though this is pretty vintage, it's in 2015 during XY era. We got the Gyarados Poncho Pikachu. So happy to get another one of these in 10. And we did pretty well on the Magikarp as well. Fetching another 10. The Rayquaza with the 10. And now the disappointments begin. So we got the 
imposter Pikachu. It's like the team, the Skull Grunt. Uh, and unfortunately, this one just got the eight. But, you know, I feel like this one's definitely not as popular as the other ones or compared to some of these other ones that are coming up. Although, yep, so we have the Mega Charizard. Ah, so these, these hurt a little bit. Uh, with Japanese, I feel like it's kind of hard to gauge centering, so I'm not sure what knocked this down. Um, but I was disappointed. I feel like the, the Gyarados Magikarp, obviously I'm happy to get those in 10, but I think the, of these Poncho cards, um, that's I'd rather get these in 10 is what I'm getting at. So we got the other Mega Charizard uh, in 9, and this one hurts even more. My favorite Japanese. Oh, okay, I can see, I can see it up here. Definitely, in, definitely not worthy of a ten. It is the Mario Pikachu. Definitely one of my favorite Japanese promos. Uh, just so unique. Probably won't ever see this again. What an amazing collaboration. Um, Would have been cool if it came out in English, but uh, what are you gonna do? Love this card. Disappointed to have a nine. Along that same thought, <laughs> is this one? Uh, okay, we got. I see something up here, so fair enough. But yeah, disappointing to have the nine. But hey, any Pikachu's to add to the collection? I think I still have some more in PSA in my next wave of returns. Uh, we did do the Luigi as well. Another mint nine. There is a single Yu-Gi-Oh card in this submission. Uh, this is a very nice one, though. It is the Appaloosa. Um, I guess they settled on Starlight Rare. We got a Mint 9. A little disappointing. I'm not sure what got deducted. Although I'm not very familiar with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! PSA cards in general. Uh, but this is the first of this Starlight Air. At first I thought they called it Prismatic. Um, and it's kind of like the, the max rarity uh, going on right now. Um, and yeah, this was kind of like the OG. The first set that came out and this was the, uh, I think... The normal rarity is in secret, uh, so really happy to get this card graded at set content with a nine. All right, we're going back to a shiny. We got the Garrett. Ooh, Garrett's first edition. Okay, I'm quite happy with this grade then. Near mint to mint eight, shiny Garrett. This is a just an amazing art. Um, oh, that guy's terrified. Uh, yeah, and eight is definitely warranted. Like that's. Very significant. Other than that, the car looks pretty good. Centering looks pretty good. So definitely wouldn't argue that that's a nine. Uh, all right, so we do have a OG Blastoise Unlimited. This one we did get the Mint Nine. Another card that got hit. Actually, almost all these cards got hit with upcharges, which it's a pretty egregious offense considering that the in this ten dollar range is only supposed to go up to two hundred. So this order costs quite a bit. All right, here's probably one of the biggest cards in the submission, but as we can see, significant dot there. Actually, you know what? It's not terrible. Like, yes, that's a significant dot. Um, it is the Gold Star Charizard. Actually, not crazy about the art. Um, I don't know, he, there's a, a game called Ghosts and Goblins or something like that. It reminds me of one of the, the little gargoyle guys. Um, so really like this card, but to be honest, the art, not, not the biggest fan of the art. Unfortunately, it's got the six, which again, I feel like it's a pretty tough grade. Uh, maybe again, if I look hard enough, I'll find like a slight bend or something. I feel like this is a little rough. I feel like this could, like, un unless I find something else, I feel like this is worthy of at least a seven. So pretty disappointing there. A random Magneton from base set, Newer Mint 7, a random Raichu at the excellent five but yeah i'm a huge base set fan so even these low grades it's like you know hey i graded it myself and for 10 bucks whatever needle king six okay i guess we're going back to jungle with the victory bell a fossil magneton coming in with the eight all right now we're really just jumping all over the place a gyarados base set two uh, maybe I'm getting close to finishing base set. Uh, definitely a card for getting the most vintage bang for your buck. Uh, base set 2 is probably one of the cheaper options. A dark wheezing. Definitely not a fan favorite. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We got a nice Neo Azumarill. 7. I feel like these were a bunch of cards I just had in my... Actually, you know what? 
I, these are a little nostalgic. I'm pretty sure these were just Neo cards I had in my binder, like, growing up. So the fact that these are still pulling like an eight is pretty impressive. Uh, and and then, but then like when something comes back at five, you know, not that shocking. Again, like in year 2000, we did not take proper care of our cards. Or at least I didn't. Uh, Steelix coming in at a six. All right, this is a pretty solid grade. Togetic at a nine. Um, yeah, such a, Togepi is so cute. Then this Togetic is just, but then when Togekiss comes out, it's like, all right, almost all the stage ones are kind of awkward looking. It's like they're going through puberty or something. Uh, but yeah, when first Togetic is like, ooh, that's, that's a weird Pokemon. <laughs> Hitmontop, very interesting Pokemon. And only got the Numen 7, but this is, this is one I, I bet, I, I bet I pulled this myself. So I'm pretty happy with the 7. Wobbuffet with the 8. All right, now we're moving to some more interesting cards. We've got Expedition Reverse Golem coming at the 7. Um, I mean, it's just a 7, but I, I really like this art. I don't know what it is about this art, uh, but I'm a big fan of it. So happy to get that one graded. A random metal energy, because I'm not sure why. <laughs> Again, this was some of these cards like, I don't know, 15 months ago or something. Uh, so PSA 5. Mistrevious, only with a six. Porygon two, dark Porygon two. Uh, was a huge fan of Porygon. Porygon two got a little weird. Um, maybe more so with the Z. This <laughs> Delibird, this art is so weird. Um, yeah, we got Delibird. And then last two cards are some pretty pretty good ones. So we got a Crystal type. Um, definitely was something I wish I picked up some Crystal types. Year, many years earlier than I when I started to do so. Uh, Kabutops, um, the reverse, just the six. A little disappointing. Um, I don't, this, the back look looks better than a six. Again, there must be a bend or something that I'm not seeing. Or, I mean, this, I can see the scratching, so maybe that's why. Uh, especially with the reverse. Yeah, I can see a lot of scratching on that actually. And then our last one is an oh, but yeah, this one. So this is also a six. And here the the, the wear is on the back, maybe less on the front. Um, this is the Crystal Nido King, and um, yeah, that's gonna be it for the returns. Pretty long video. Um, I'll probably the next one I'll probably break up into multiple parts because it's like over a hundred cards. Uh, but yeah, that was a, that was the submission. So really happy to get these back from PSA, and. Um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below. What has been your experience with upcharges? This was the first time I really got slammed with them. Uh, but considering some of the cards, it you know totally makes sense. So that's going to be it for me today. Thanks as always. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.